guys, what's up? It's Naomi the Crafty Savage here, and I'm back for this week's whipping chat. If you're new to diamond painting, whip stands for work in progress, and chat is I'm just gonna flap my gums and run my mouth and tell you about my week. Um, yeah, so pull it out, whatever it is that you are working on. I got a stray here, though. I don't care if it's, you know, diamond painting, cross stitching, crocheting knitting, vacuuming, doing the dishes, whatever it is you want to do, I would recommend though, if you have chitlins, put those headphones on. I try my very best not to cuss, but I am human and it comes out. And I have been told by a roofer that I sound worse than one of his guys. So it, it is what it is, right? So I do apologize if you hear a cuss word come out. It's me. I'm going to be de-kidding fairy tale dreams that I just got done working on. I really loved that project. But yeah, so let's get into last week, shall we? So the last time I spoke to you guys, it was Wednesday last week. For you guys, it would have been Thursday, which was Thanksgiving. And you know what I did Thanksgiving? I stayed my happy little tail at home. I just learned, you know, a couple years ago, it's just, it's a lot less stressful and it just works for me. So I was off on Thursday, um, and on Thursday, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know I started making gnomes, and I went a little gnome happy, like I went gnome happy. Um, I appreciate everybody's comments that commented on my pictures of the gnomes over on Instagram. I made them as gifts and sent them out, but you guys got me thinking, and I'm thinking, you know, as long as things keep going the way they're going, I um, might open an Etsy shop, you know, maybe sometime next year, um, and start selling gnomes. So yeah, that's kind of exciting. I just want to kind of get a little bit of a stockpile of them, you know, before I do open an Etsy store because working full time, doing the YouTube channel and then also running a Etsy store, if I were to make them to order, you know what, there's sometimes, hey, no problem. And then there's sometimes my life is just a chaotic mess. And it's always, you know, when I have something I need to get done, that, you know, the poo-poo hits the fanith. Yeah. But, you know, if I don't have anything to do, nope, nope nothing, no, nothing happens. The poop stays on the ground. Uh, so, yeah, no, so I started making the gnomes. I stayed awake <laughs> for DAC's Black Friday sale because I'm a Diamond member, so I had early access at 3 a.m. And, ooh, I was on it. Like, I was watching all last week as they released, you know, their, um, their diamond paintings. And I was like, okay. I'm like, there's three that I definitely want. Maybe four. Maybe five. And so, when I was sitting there and I was thinking about it. And I was like, alright, I'm definitely going to get these three. I got four, y'all. I, I don't know what happened. It just jumped in the cart. I didn't see it. You know, it was like, I swore maybe like... One of my kids was, you know what I mean, on DAC's website, you know, when they were younger. You know, you, like, you, you take them to the store, you're not paying attention. One of them little bastards throws a thing of cookies in there, you don't even realize it. You put it up on the, you know, the little thing to check out, and you're like, where the hell did these cookies come from? That's what happened with that fourth painting. I don't know where it came from, I'm telling you. It was like a little kid was in the DAC website and just chucked it in my cart before I even knew what happened. Um, I didn't wind up going to bed, though, until almost 5 a.m., and let me tell you, that screwed 
me up for quite a few <laughs> days but it it was it was worth it so yeah I also finished Fairy Tale Dreams on Thanksgiving. The painting I'm getting down right now. On Friday, my slap happy tired behind. Woke up at 3 p.m. Don't don't worry. I took Roscoe out, you know what I mean? Like, cause I realized when I saw it was like almost five, I was like, I'm not gonna get up to take him out in the morning. So we went out at 5 a.m. And yep, he did his business. We came back in. I crashed and I crashed hard like a you know, one of them like um oh what are those those like test driving dummies? I don't I think that's what they're called. The test driving dummies, you know. Back in like the nineties, the cars they had those like dummies that would get into accidents and they'd be like, Whoa Yeah, those. That's what I did. I crashed like one of them. Then I took Roscoe out and he saw his his puppy dog love, his puppy love. I say he's got a crush on her. He saw Lady and who? So I did ask Lady's owner what kind of dog she is because I, I always tell him I'm like I'm, I'm gonna steal her I'm like if she's ever out here walking around I'm like don't don't come to my house I'm like because I don't I don't I don't know where she's at and he, he laughs like I would I would never take somebody's dog honestly like if I saw her out like I mean I'd, I'd take her in and let him know but yeah but Lady she is a it's like a Corgi Dachshund mix and she's eight years old and guys like when I see her like she melts my heart I, I understand why Roscoe has this like puppy dog crush on her like any other dog he like barks at all that good stuff he sees lady and he's like Ooh. I swear it's like in the cartoons the little hearts start floating up over his head. He's just like Gaga. He like whimpers and whines to get to her. It's disgusting. It's like Cupid shot him with the puppy dog arrow. I don't know. I wasn't looking at damn Cupid. I would have smacked him. But yeah. And then, um, but you know, I asked him, so ladies, eight years old. And, uh, Roscoe likes the older ladies, apparently, you know, but that's okay. Like I said, she's just, I have to see one of these times, like, if I can get a, a picture of her, but it's like, I don't want to be, like, creepy, you know what I mean, and be, like, trying to, like, sneak a picture of, like, my neighbor's dog, or, like, or even asking them, being like, hey, can I, can I take a picture of your dog? Because he's going to be like, why, why do you want a picture of my dog? When I'm going to be like, so, so I can show my YouTube peoples, you know, Roscoe's lady crush. It, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. You know what I mean? But I don't, it just seems a little, a little strange. You know what I mean? For somebody who's like not a part of YouTube. <laughs> He'd be like, can I take a picture of your dog so I can show, you know, thousands of people? Well, maybe not thousands, you know, but hundreds of people, you know, the, that my, what, what my dog's crush looks like. <laughs> I probably will. I just got to work up the balls to do it. So, eventually you'll probably see a picture of Lady pop up. Um, let's see. So, yeah, so I took took Roscoe out and then I decided that I was going to go out Black Friday shopping mm -hmm. so it was kind of like later everybody was for the most part gone where did I go um yeah I think I went to like Hobby Lobby I, I know I know I went to Hobby Lobby um no, I didn't go to Hobby Lobby Friday. Um, so, where the hell did I go? I went to a couple stores on Friday. And I think, I think I got all my Christmas shopping done. 
I think, you know, until I sit down to go to wrap it, and I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot so-and-so. No, I ain't that important, right? No, I'm so, I'm so wrong, guys. Like, what, what, what is wrong with me? I got, I got the important people, right? And then there's some that there's stuff I'm not going to get it until after Christmas, so it just, it is what it is. And then, I remember I came out of the store, and I'm sitting in my car, and I look down at my phone, and I get this notification from freaking DAC. So, when I thought, you know what I mean, like the, I don't know how many freaking images they released on Friday wasn't bad enough, here comes DAC busting through the, you know, the freaking wall like the Kool-Aid man, like, surprise, mother trucker, we got more! Why'd they get me for two more? So I ordered two more. So that brings my, you know, Black Friday going into Saturday. Um, total of diamond paintings that I ordered to six. Guys, what is wrong with me? Yeah, so I ordered six paintings. Now, of course, you know, the, the second... The second order were pre-orders, which I knew, you know what I mean, that's fine. My first order, and all my, I don't know, excitement, tiredness, you know, 3 a.m. in the freaking morning, I think three of them were not pre-orders, but one of them was. So I'm going to have to wait till you know, next year probably before I get my... Black Friday paintings, and of course, the one, like, there was three that I was like, most definitely, I want these. Those three were not the ones that were on pre-order. It was the one that I was like, I like it, but I don't know, eh, okay, just, you know, that, that damn kid threw it in my cart. That one was the pre-order, so, shucky darn, oh well, I'll, I'll live, believe me, I have enough diamond paintings to... Last me a while. I have, I'm going to have like pre-orders and stuff like that coming in. Like, let me see. So there's a six from DAC. I have a craftably pre-order that I ordered like back in September when I lived at my old place. Um, that, you know, the, they said the pre-orders wouldn't be, you know, they wouldn't get them until like December. And now it's like, I guess, running later than that now. So there's the Craftably one, the six from DAC. I have one from Treasure Studios Art that I ordered that's actually on its way to me. Yeah, yeah. And I wish, so what is that, eight? Oh, I think I might need a support group, guys. So, yeah. So then Saturday... So, of course, you know, Friday, I stayed up, and I was in Mrs. Coffee's live and Ruby Q's live, and, yeah, so I stayed up late on Friday night going into Saturday night when I woke up, um, so, yeah, so Thursday, I started the gnomes. On Friday night, I finished making the gnomes that I had enough stuff to make with, and I made 20 gnomes. So I finished them on Friday, so I was like, Saturday when I woke up, I was like, I want to make more gnomes. Well, the stuff to, I used to fill their body, I got at Hobby Lobby, and there was only one bag, and I think I got that on Tuesday of last week, so I was like, well, it's Saturday, maybe, you know, maybe, like, their truck came in. Aren't wrong. No. But I got some stuff. I think I got yarn. I bought yarn for crocheting because they didn't have the stuff to make noon, so I was like, dang you. So, I went on Amazon, and ordered them. I got a 10 pound box that I just got today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that will probably make 20 and then maybe 
like around 30 nooms, give or take. Um, Cause the last bag I had was a 10 pound bag and that made, I mean it almost made 21, but not quite enough. So I'm just saying 20. So yeah, so they didn't have it. So I settled for crocheting stuff. Um, and where the Hobby Lobby is, it has a little Caesars, and I stopped at that damn little Caesars again, and there was a girl working behind the counter. Uh, like, I don't know, she just like, she just looked like, you know, she could use some cheering up. And I happened to have a gnome with me, because I don't know, I just felt like gifting it, you know, I'm like, I don't know, I'll just, I'll know. If I run into somebody in public, I'll just know, you know what I mean, who it needs to, to go to. So, I went into Little Caesars, and, you know, like, it just looked like the girl could use some cheering up. So, I ordered, you know, I placed my order, and I asked her, you know, do you like gnomes? And she's like, yeah. So, I was like, all right. And I had to wait 10 minutes for my pizza to be done. So, I ran out to my car. And I grabbed the freaking gnome. And I was like, I'm going to give her this gnome. So, that is what I did. I ran to my car, got the gnome, brought it back indoor. And then I went next door to this, I think it's like Ding Tea or something. They have like boba tea. I got it last week. I got the uh, milk tea with honey bobas. And Bev told me to try the... I'm probably going to mess this up, Beverly, so I apologize. I think it's like taro tea. Oh, my good gravy, right? So I got that with the honey boba uh, because their only choice is a boba is the honey or the brown sugar. And I'm like, well, I'm shaking, you guys. I'm like, honey goes with everything. So, yeah, did that, and oh, my gosh, it's amazing. Like, it kind of like, oh, my gosh. It reminded me of, like, cereal milk. And when I told Bev that, she was like, well, that's funny. She's like, because I think it's, like, beet, beet something. I, Bev, Bev told me in the message, and I'm on my phone, so I can't look it up. But, yeah, it reminded me of, like, Fruity Pebbles. Like, if you had a bowl, not Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops. Like, if you had a bowl of Fruit Loops, you know, and you have, like, your you know, your, your leftover milk, you know, you drink that. That's what it reminded me of. It is so freaking good. I might take a little swing over there this weekend if I don't go tomorrow, because now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, ooh, I want that. But I don't want to go driving when it's dark, because where I live in Florida, like, there is no street lights. Like, when it gets dark, it gets dark. Like, if people don't have their house lights on, forget it. Like, unless you're on, like, a major highway, it is dark. Like, you can't freaking see. There is, when I say there is no street lights, like, there is no street lights. Like, it is dark. And, yeah, people drive crazy around here. There are a bunch of freaking dingbats. And, but that's, that, that's a whole whole nother story, whole nother topic. We don't got time to go down that, that crazy train. So, and then Sunday, so if you guys remember, I took my car in uh, last Wednesday because it had the two recalls. And here, I guess, I don't know, maybe I wasn't paying attention to dude because he said something about my gas cap and I swore I thought he said they replaced it. He probably just said, they reset the, the check engine light because on Sunday I went to get in my car and the freaking check engine light came back on and I was like mother freaking trucker son of a biscuit eater like so it was nice what was it uh Wednesday afternoon Thursday Friday Saturday you know like three and a half days I didn't have the check engine light on in my car so I have to 
remind myself I need to go get a gas cap because that's that's what it is it's the gas cap the sealant on it I guess has like evaporated and the guy says you know what happens over time I'm like my car doesn't even have 45 freaking thousand miles on it how the hell like it literally just hit 44,000 miles last week but that's the Florida sun for you it just like evaporates things and dry rots them and I mean, you, you, you could be wearing, you know, your underoos. Don't, don't don't let that sun hit that elastic because it'll dry rot it in like five freaking seconds, you know. And and your underoos will be hanging down by your, you know, your ankles because your elastic done broke and rotted out. I'm not, I'm not kidding. This Florida heat, it can be brutal. Like right now, it is 66 degrees in the morning. It is freaking cold. It hasn't gotten, I think, the coldest I've seen it get in Florida. I think it was like 49 degrees, and I was like, what the good Lord is this? I didn't move down here for cold weather. I came here for warm weather. But what happened, so here lately, like at night, it's been dropping down into like the 50s, high 40s. And then, like, in the morning, it's chilly. It'll be, like, that temperature. But then by, oh, I don't know, 11, you know, 12 o'clock noon, it is freaking 80 degrees outside. Now, the difference with this 80 degrees and, like, the summertime 80 degrees is now it feels, like, when it says 80 degrees, it feels like 80 degrees. So, and... But in the summertime, when it says it's like 80 degrees, nah, it'll tell you like it feels like it's a hundred something outside. Like it's, it's freaking disgustingly hot. And yeah, so there's that. And then, so I went to Walmart on um, Sunday to find boxes because I was mailing all the gnomes out that I had made and I wanted to see if I could like find you know what I mean like a small box like not a rinky dinky one because they're a little chubby and you know I didn't want to like smash them smash them so I went to Walmart and I brought another gnome with me an extra gnome I think I had three well, really I had two because I was going to give one to my mom, but I might have given hers away. But don't worry, the mama. I got more. I'm making more. You're going to get a gnome. No worries. Um, so I took the gnome with me. So like when I went to Walmart, I could like stick it in a box instead of like trying to eye it and being like, no, this box is too small and going with like too big of a box. So I brought the gnome with me and when I was checking out, I was talking to the lady at the register and I showed her, you know, the gnomes because I think I bought like 14 um, boxes. I only needed 12. Why I bought 14, I, I, don't, I don't know. Again, it goes back to that. I probably need to go back to school to learn how to count, but we're not going to get into that. Um, so I was showing it and she was telling me like she loves gnomes. She actually has a gnome Christmas tree. She's like, she's like obsessed with them. Like she even showed me her screensaver. So I was like, you know what? Here you go. And I gifted her a gnome because like I said, it's just, it's just one of them where, and I mean, and I go past, you know what I mean? A lot of people and I'm very friendly and I'll, <coughs> excuse me. Um, talk to people, but I don't, you just get this vibe and you're just like, you know what? I need to give this to them. And I gave the lady at Walmart the gnome and she was so freaking happy. You know, it just, it, it made my cold little heart melt into a popsicle. So, yeah. And then I came home. And I was like writing addresses on the box and stuffing in the boxes and all that. Getting them ready to mail out. 
tell me why I went on to Dreamer Designs and bought two more freaking paintings. Mm -hmm. So what is that, like 10? Is that 10, 6? From DAC. The one craftably pre-order 7. TAC 8. Yep, Dreamer Design. Two, 10. I have 10 diamond paintings coming to me. And I'm like, you need to slow your roll, girlfriend. Like, what the hell? And then if you could see, you can't see it because it's a hot mess express, but... Over there in the closet, that is full of diamond paintings. And I'm like, oh, good gravy. But yeah. And then, let's see. On Monday, I was hating life. Um, because I got used to staying up so late and I had four days off, so it was like do to do to do. Who cares if you stay up till 5 o'clock in the morning? You don't got to go to work. The lies we tell ourselves. I had to go back to work in four days. And who I was hating. Hating Monday. My alarm went off and I was like, no, I don't want to go. But, as we all know, or if you don't know, if you're new to the channel... I get paid on Mondays. I am the one that runs the payroll. So if I don't go in on Monday, I ain't getting paid and nobody's getting paid. So yeah, that's kind of usually my motivation to get my butt up on a Monday. I got up and I went only to have the server that I remote into go down. So, I got done work early. I got done at 1 p.m. I usually get done at 4 because I was just sitting there and I'm like, I don't think the server's coming back up. And here, like where the server is at the office in PA, um, PA is Pennsylvania, where it's at, where the office is there there is like I don't know what it is if it's like an overload but like there it's not a breaker it's oh my gosh I know not a fuse box oh my gosh I know what it's called and for the life of me it just like a transformer that's what it is the transformer they always freaking blow like if there's a bad storm it blows. If there's like a heavy snow, it blows. If it rains too hard, it blows. Like it's been happening for Boyer Town. I lived there quite a few years. And from the very first time I moved there, um, my youngest, I was pregnant with him. Uh, and he's 17. So like 17, 18 years ago. And it still happens, like, it's gotten better over the last 17 years, but it, it still happens, and it's just, it's annoying. So they didn't have any electricity, so I couldn't remote into the server. Like I said, it, it shut the server down. So, thank goodness, like, the first thing I do when I come in in the morning is I run payroll and I cut them checks because I'm like, if anything happens, like, a bitch is getting paid, all right? Like, mm-hmm, no, nah, I'll make sure them payroll checks are done. Mm-hmm, yep, and then, and then everything can die. But, but not until then. Hold on, excuse me, guys, I need to take a drink. Who? It's like I got spit or something caught in my throat and I felt like I was going to cough again and I coughed enough in your guys' ears for one day today but yeah and then um so on Monday I'm watching TV and I don't know what in the good lord good golly miss molly freaking Amazon was thinking with that damn freaking commercial with the dogs barking. If you guys have a dog, you probably know which one I'm talking about. It's like, oh, 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 oh. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to set everybody's dogs off or set my own dog off. 
that commercial came on so many freaking times and every freaking time it came off it would came on it would set roscoe off and i'm like what the freaking hell amazon like what 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 were you thinking were, were you thinking you know what i mean that like oh this will be funny let's set everyone's dogs off across america with this barking dog commercial oh i was and almost, almost made me not want to order stuff from Amazon. But, mm, that ain't gonna happen. Because Amazon is just too damn convenient, right? So, yeah. Then, yesterday, I got my slap happy behind up. I went to work. Tell me why. I don't know if you guys remember about the freaking lizard like a couple weeks ago that jumped out of my printer at me on a Monday morning first thing. Mm -hmm. Why that little bastard? I swear he like taunts me. So I guess here that mofo has been like hanging out in my office. I thought he left or one of the cats had gotten him because usually if a lizard gets into the house um yeah, but no, I guess apparently he likes my office. He likes hanging out in it and chilling in it and scaring the holy living freaking bejesus out of me. So I went to grab some, like, paperwork. Why did this mofo come jumping out of the freaking paperwork? Like, papers went flying. I was screaming. You would have thought somebody was, like, coming in there to kill me. Like, this freaking lizard, right? So then I have these, like, styrofoam things and he landed on the floor if I remember I will post a picture of him on the floor I meant to do that yesterday and forgot of him on the floor after like I had thrown the papers and he jumped so I have these like styrofoam things and I have the back door open so I can try to get him out because I'm like what what in the good lord is this thing freaking eating because like there's no bugs in the house for you to eat, dude. Like, so so, what are you living on? Like, what are you, like, eating my paper? Like, are you eating my pens, my rubber bands? Like, what? Like, it's office stuff. It's office supplies. Like, Mr. Lizard, you are not the Geico Lizard. I do not need your help. It is not an insurance company. It is a drywall company. All right, but... I don't know if you can hear that. That is Roscoe. Barking. He is having some good dreams. He might maybe be chasing a squirrel in his dreams. Or maybe he's going on a puppy date with the lady. Who knows? But yeah, so that lizard. So I had these like styrofoam things and I'm trying to like push him like to go towards the door and I have this other one. So like when he ran this way, I'm like, no, 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 go like this way. Why did that mofo run underneath my freaking bookshelf where I can't get him? So that mofo is probably still somewhere in my damn office because Miss Maxine is not doing her damn job. Or that lizard is smart and knows to stay in my office because one, the cats don't really go in my office. There's... The two cats that are like inside outdoor cats and basically what happened was my aunt and uncle moved to this property and these cats just like were already there and I think I might have gotten into this last week and two of the cats like she's gotten to come inside and then there's two other cats so Princess and Maxine, Maxine is Princess's baby, except she's not a baby anymore. She's like three. Um, they'll go in and out, Princess, more or less. Like, she'll go out, but she just goes out to, like, lay on, like, the path that goes to the pool. And she'll just sunbathe. Maxine, she will go after lizards. She will, I've seen that girl, like scurry up trees to go after stuff she'll jump on the roof and just lay up there on the roof and watch stuff and she's a crazy cat 
Then there's Puss in Boots. I like to refer to him as D-Face because yeah if, you, if I can if I remember I'll post a picture of Puss in Boots as well I know I have a picture of his face where he legit his face looks like he has a D and some wah, wah, on his face like it's yeah yeah he's a D face and then there's another cat that just like I don't know if it's a she if it's a he I call it a she but my aunt this cat just kind of like showed up one day. Um, that is Homie Cat. Homie Cat is, I don't know, she's like skittish. Like Puss in Boots will come near me. Maxine is eh. I mean, I don't really go and touch the cats or anything like that. But Maxine, she'll push my open door my office door open if I don't have it closed all the way and if she wants to come out she'll push my office door open and go to the side door and meow until I open the side door to let her out on the back patio and but yeah so those are the the cats and like I said Maxine usually freaking get some well and like I said this lizard is probably smart and has probably had a run in with Maxine and ran into my office and knows better than to leave the comforts of my office and go out into the house because you can get into my office from the back porch there's a door but then also if you go into the house like it used to be a porch that they enclosed my uncle like enclosed and made it like a big like room and you put up a wall and there's a door that leads into my office that way also so the lizard is hanging out by like almost the back door and I could leave that back door freaking open and that little mother sucker still won't go outside now I don't blame him it's freaking cold right it is cold and I Monday, it might have been Monday or maybe Sunday, I ordered the filling for the gnomes. Today, which is Wednesday, I got up and, I don't know, like getting old sucks. Like, I mean, I'm not old, but I'm, I'm 40 and I don't know how I did it, but I somehow hurt my freaking back in my sleep. That takes talent. I don't know how I did it. Like, I have a really good mattress. I, I don't, I don't freaking know. But I, I hurt myself in my freaking sleep. And, like, I have back problems. And at one point, like, it was, for a couple years, it was, like, really bad. I was legit, like, crooked and leaning to the side and I couldn't straighten up and I would go to the chiropractor and yeah and it was just every time I got adjusted it would just like it would put me in like I would find like it would give me comfort but then like I would be in like pain again and in tears so I wound up getting a, what they called, after I did the three steroid injections, and they didn't do jack diddly squat, I got what was called a twilight injection, where they put me under, and they gave me like a nerve blocker, and I couldn't feel it, and oh, it was like, and then I started going back to the chiropractor, and he was able to adjust me, and get me a little bit straighter like like I have scoliosis I have minor scoliosis and it I don't know but he was able to I still have a curve but it's not nearly as noticeable as it was a couple years ago because like I said I got that nerve blocker and he could twist and turn me and I didn't feel it so eventually you know after so many adjustments my body started staying in the correct position and yeah so but yeah no my back pain did not happen you know where I'm used to it happening 
So yeah, it takes special talent, I guess, to hurt your back while you are sleeping. Right? Only, only I can do that. I don't freaking get it. But then, um, I know last night I was making dinner and I made a lot. And my one son has just gotten an apartment. He is 1.4 miles away from me, so he's not far from Mama. And I called him up and I was like, hey, do you need anything? You know, because I don't know if you remember, like, when you first moved into your very first place. You know, like, you're all excited, but you forget about things. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, toilet paper. Well, no, the toilet paper was always there. And paper towels? Like, no, they're just, they're, they're, they're always there. Like, you're just certain things. So when he's like, no, no, I'm good. He's like, Grammy, you know, Grammy gave me pots and pans and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, I made this, you know, chicken and rice and I made too much. And he's like, well, I'm not at home right now. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, what are you doing, you know, tomorrow after work? And he's like, nothing. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll run this stuff over. And so I brought him some food over. I ran and got some, like, stuff, you know, little essential stuff and brought that over to him. So, yeah, and then brought my behind back home. And here I am flapping my gums with y'all. But, whew, I've been on here for about 40 minutes now, guys. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to wrap it up here. But, uh, you know, if you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you next time, guys.